Welcome back to this hour-long edition. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. Here's a reality check about narcotic painkillers in Nebraska. Federal regulators say there are 79 prescriptions for every 100 people. We continue to chronicle a wave of prescription drug abuse, and tonight the effort to inform doctors about the risk. As KATV News Watch 7's Julie Cornell reports, it's all about education. From oxycodone to cough syrup, America likes its medicine. The United States is only 5% of the world's population, but we consume in the United States 80% of the prescription pain medications in the world. And most people have cabinets full of half empty bottles. Well, the medicine cabinet is a new drug dealer. You know, if you want to find prescription medications or something to abuse or use, you can find it in any home. Joan McVoy is one of the state's top educators when it comes to poisoning. So it's no surprise to her that two thirds of the phone calls into the Nebraska Regional Poison Control Center are concerns about prescription drugs. Poison Center, this is Sandy. May I help you? Especially narcotic painkillers. Did you take an extra dose? We do have people trying to get high on their medications. We have people trying to commit suicide, trying to take their life by taking medications. The hotline, staffed with trained nurses 24 hours a day, Fielding 45,000 calls a year. The greatest use of this resource? Doctors and nurses. Many calls from healthcare providers who are um, calling us um, for uh, treatment advice on how to manage these types of medications. Across town, more education for doctors and dentists. They just go from dentist to dentist to dentist. On this day, an experienced undercover narcotics agent talks with senior dental students in this Creighton University ethics class. We're not showing his face because he works the streets. He says dentists are now the number one target for doctor shoppers. They may see five of you in the same day and get prescriptions from all of you because they do have this horrible tooth. Drug seekers make it a full-time job. He describes one recent abuser. She was seeing over 90 different physicians in the Omaha metropolitan area and had, I believe it was 68 different identities. He tells them to stay alert and warns them. So a 40 milligram pill for one pill was $95. Not to risk their careers to make an extra buck by doing something unethical, like selling prescriptions. These drugs have a huge profit margin. You can make a lot of money. You will get caught, you will go to federal prison. The CDC says here in the U.S., one in 12 people report using narcotic painkillers to get high. That's 12 million people. Here in Nebraska, lawmakers are considering a measure to monitor people who buy prescription painkillers. Julie Cornell, KETV, Newswatch 7.